the first shall be last, and the last shall be first. What's going on, chosen people? I'm glad y'all could join a brother. Let's fasten them spiritual seatbelts, because we're going up high today. Hope y'all can hang. Well, you know, you know it's all about the King's Highway. It's all about the King's Highway. We're going to deal with our brother from another mother today with this video. Yes, Jesus Christ is our brother from another mother. I know thumbnail. <laughs> Some of y'all saying, what's up with that thumbnail? Brother from another mother. And uh, that's actually the two covenants, y'all. Some of y'all might have, you know, depending on how spiritual you are, you, you pick that up. But I don't think anybody's ever broken that down to us. I've never seen it. But, you know, praise the Lord. We're in, we're in his favor, right? So uh, we're able to eat at the king's table. And the Lord wants to uh, give us more perfect understanding. So we can uh, be of an excellent spirit. And uh, we can be more perfect in his sight. Walking upright. The more you know, the better off you are. The higher you go, the better off you're going to be in this world. Our brother from another mother. Uh, let's go on dive right into this, y'all. Let's go with uh, Jeremiah 3.8. Let's go there first. You know, as many as are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God, right? Jeremiah 3.8. We might want well to start there. And... uh. And it says, and I saw for all the causes whereby backsliding Israel. And that's this is when we, this is uh, an old covenant, of course. This is us having no strength at all. Okay. This is because uh, there was no judgment in the earth yet. Right before Christ died. And I saw for all the causes whereby backsliding Israel. Okay, backsliding Israel. Because remember, no strength, no power to become sons of God as of yet. Backsliding Israel committed adultery, other gods. I had put her away and given her a, look y'all, a bill of divorce. Yet her treacherous sister Judah feared not, but went and played the harlot. Also, Judah did the same thing. This is Israel and Judah uh, being an adulteress, having other gods, you know, not giving the Lord their whole heart, their whole soul. That was our error. That was our mistake. Let's pick that up in Second uh, Kings. Second Kings seven. Uh, 23. It's in 17 too, but we'll go to one in 2 Kings 23 27. Let's get that one. And it says, And the Lord said, I will remove Judah also out of my sight, as I had removed Israel. Israel was uh, cut off from the um, house of King David. In 2 Kings 17, Israel was cut off from the house of King David. And the Lord said, I will remove uh, Israel and Judah right here. Uh, 2 Kings 23, 27. But Israel got the bill of divorcement, though. Keep that in mind, y'all. Israel alone got that bill of divorcement. Uh, because the everlasting covenant will come through Judah. Th that would be from our brother from another mother, though. Keep that in mind. Let's read this again. And the Lord said, I will remove Judah also out of my sight as I have removed Israel. See that? Israel was cut off from the house of King David. And Judah got cut off from the house of King David. Right? We're reading it right now. As I removed Israel and I will cast off this city, Jerusalem. This is the first covenant. Yeah? This is the first covenant. What we read. So Judah and Israel are cut off from this first covenant. This is the first covenant. Mosaic law covenant. Which I have chosen. And the house which I said my name shall be. 
there. He said, and he said his name would be there forever. But that's the new Jerusalem. That's what we get in uh, Revelation 3.12. The new Jerusalem where he puts his name. Do we need to get that real quick? Just for those who, uh, some might not be uh, advanced class. So we get that for, for them. Revelation 3.12. Him that overcometh will I make a pillar in the temple of my God. And he shall go no more out. And I will write upon him the name of my God. That's what we just read. Where he said his name will be there forever. The name of my God and the name of the city of my God, which is New Jerusalem. See, that's, this is a new covenant. This is the proof this is a new covenant. New Jerusalem goes with the new covenant. And this comes with our brother from another mother. He brought us this new Jerusalem, this new name and new covenant, which is New Jerusalem, which cometh down out of heaven from my God, right? My God. So the church is going to be called Jesus. So that means your name going to be called Jesus. And we're going to read it in this same verse. And I will write upon him my new name. There it is. That's where you become the church, which is New Jerusalem. You become that. The church, which is New Jerusalem. So let's pick that up in Galatians, y'all. Let's go on to Galatians. I guess this is a kind of a continuation a little bit from um, the last video I did. Uh, the Hebrew name Jesus. There's only one Hebrew name, and that's Jesus. Right? The Bible sanctified, ordained that name. Uh, Acts 26, verse 14 through 18. That name Jesus Christ. Remember, he's Alpha and Omega. So he's the first Hebrew name. And he's the last Hebrew name, Jesus Christ. He's the Alpha and Omega. Right, class? Don't make me go to all these verses. I'm just going to call out some, class. I ain't, don't y'all make me read every every verse. Now, where did I say I was going in Galatians, class? Uh, see, I was doing all that talking and it left me, class. But I know I said Galatians, but I don't remember what, what I was talking about. Oh, Galatians 4. Thank you, Holy Spirit. He brought it back to my remembrance. So, uh, our brother from another mother, y'all. Brother from another mother. That's the title of this video. Galatians 4.22. Let's start there. For it is written in the Holy Bible, right? All scripture given by inspiration of God. Right? That's your success right there. If you believe it. <laughs> if you believe these words don't come from men, but from God only. They don't come from flesh and blood. Okay? Blessed are that heart that trusteth in the Lord, man. Blessed are all they that trusteth in their God, man. Right? Because uh, heaven and earth are passed away. But this word of God, this holy Bible, King James 66, red letter, shall stand forevermore. Galatians 4.22. For it is written in the Bible. It is written that Abraham had two sons, y'all. One by a bondmaid. All right, and we can call these the mothers. When we talk about a brother from another mother, stay with me. Watch this. Uh, one by a bond made, the other by a free woman. That's where Jesus Christ came from, the free woman. Zion. Zion is that mother, right, of Jesus Christ. Zion is you and my mother. We about to read it. But he who was born, uh, uh, but he was of the bond woman, Right? Uh, and we're going to go into Leah and Rachel, too. we got to go into Leah and Rachel. Right? Because we come, originally, we come out of Leah. Leah. But Joseph and Benjamin came out of uh, uh, Rachel. Oh, we're going to get there. Let me finish reading this. I'm just giving you a little taste, a little head start. A little spoiler alert. You know, that's coming. Who was born of the bond woman was born after the flesh. After the flesh, that's right. That's our first birth. We know that. Now our first mother, through Adam and Eve, right, was the earth. So that first covenant was showing us that we are of the flesh. And we are the wrong mother, the wrong covenant, right? But he of the free woman, Zion, 
right? It was by promise. Jesus Christ is the oath, the promise that he would be king after the order of what? Melchizedek, e eternal king, to what? Bring us what? Eternal life through Jesus Christ. He is the uh, life more abundantly in John chapter 10. Jesus is the eternal life. First John chapter 5, verse 20. He's the eternal life. That's by promise. This is God's promise. Remember, blessed they that trust in the Lord. His words are the words of what? Eternal life. His words quickeneth the believer. Right? They that have their faith and trust in God with the whole heart, the whole soul. Blessed, are that, blessed is that nation that trusteth in their God whom he had chosen what? For his own inheritance. That's the children of promise. They inherit Jesus Christ. They inherit the kingdom of God. They inherit God's uncreated life. Which things are an allegory. For these are the two covenants. Two covenants. Right? One is from a brother of another mother. Two covenants. The one from Mount Sinai. Which gendereth to bondage. That's the first covenant. Mosaic law of the flesh. Bondage. It showed us we in bondage. Right? Uh, Romans 3, 19 and 20. Knowledge of sin. The law gives us the knowledge of sin. That uh, Our nature is sinful. Our nature is bondage. Corruption. Which is, an, uh, which is Agor. For this Agor is Mount Sinai of Arabia. And answer to Jerusalem. Which now is and is in bondage with her children. First covenant. That's bondage. The flesh. That's the flesh. That's what it's saying, y'all. You could be in. You can be under that covenant, Mosaic law, but you are uh, in bondage. You are in bondage to fear. You are in bondage to uh, uh, corruption, sin, and death. You know that's all captivity, right? That's the first covenant. Verse twenty-six, y'all. But Jerusalem, which is above, is free. This is our mother here. Which is, look, the mother of us all. This is the, the mother Jesus Christ come from, y'all. This is that new Jerusalem. This is Revelation 3.12 we just read. With his name on it. Because he established it. Jesus Christ established the new Jerusalem with, with his death, burial, resurrection. With his mercy. With his grace. The veil was split in twine. Right? Which, which is separation of flesh and spirit with the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ, then and then only can we enter into what is now called the holy city. We couldn't enter into the holy city because uh, Jerusalem was not yet established through what? The new name. God's new name. God's new form. God's new sons and daughters. Right? That could... Uh, have his very DNA, his very nature. That's what Jesus Christ came to give us. But Jerusalem, New Jerusalem, which is above, is free, y'all. Free from sin. Free from death. Free from corruption. We. Uh, this is the sacrifice people. The Jerusalem of the earth was uh, a city of sacrifice. We were sacrificing the lambs, bullocks, goats. It had to be blood. So Jesus Christ fulfilled it. Fulfilled it with his life, laying down of his life and giving us resurrection, power, strength. Not to backslide. But Jerusalem, is, which is above, is free, which is the mother of us all. So Jesus Christ is our brother from another mother. Jesus Christ is our brother from another mother. Let's get that Hosea 11, 7. Let's go get it. Y'all know I ain't said that in a minute. 11, 7. Hosea 11, 7, which says, And my people are bent to backsliding. Didn't we read that? Israel and Judah kept backsliding. He said, And my people are bent to backsliding from me. Though they call them to the Most High, Jesus Christ is exalted. Philippians 2, 9 through 11. His name is above every name. At the name of Jesus, every knee must bow. Things in heaven, things in earth, things under the earth. 
So the scriptures is calling us to the most high. The scriptures, the two witnesses, the Old Testament and the New Testament. The, those are the two witnesses, y'all. None at all would exalt him. There it is. They, if you don't exalt him, you bent on backsliding. You've been on backsliding because he he established the new Jerusalem. We just read it. His name is an inherited name. Hebrews 1 4. We inherit life through his name. John 20, verse 31. These things are written from the two witnesses that you might believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that believing you might have life through his name. But the Lord said, and death shall be chosen rather than life. Because his people are bent on backsliding from the Lord, the Most High. Though they call them to the Most High, none at all will exalt him. Jesus Christ got to be exalted. Didn't he tell us that from his own mouth? John 8. Let's go get it. John 8 and 27, I believe. John eight twenty seven. Let's go get it. Uh, verse twenty eight. Then said Jesus. Jesus said this. Y'all. Then said Jesus unto them. Right. Though they called them to the Most High, Old Testament, New Testament, the two witnesses. When ye have lifted up the Son of Man, when you have exalted, that's exaltation, y'all. When you have lifted up the Son of Man, then shall ye know that I am He. Then you're going to know I'm the Most High. Then you're going to know I'm the Lord God, your Savior. I am He. And that I do nothing of myself, but as my Father had taught me, I speak these things. And don't get that twisted. He's the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. We covered that last video. Right? The Hebrew name. Father, our Lord Jesus Christ, because the church is called Jesus Christ now. That just means we call by his name. That's your Second Chronicles 7, 14. The church is called by his name now. There's only one Hebrew. Now, now we go back to that one language that you see in uh, Genesis 11. Well, it said the whole earth was one language at that time. The whole earth was one language. Now, this Bible is the city, is the tower is the tabernacle, is the one language, and the one people, and the one nation under God with liberty and justice for all, is right here. Then Jesus, uh, then said Jesus unto them, when you had lifted up, let's, let's tap on lifted up right here. Let's see what we're going to get. There's a lot I want to get to, y'all. Uh, let's see what we got here. Matthew 27, 35. And they crucified him and parted his garments, casting lots, that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken by the prophet. And they parted my garments among them, and upon my vestures did they cast lots. That's good. Keep that in mind, y'all. Mark 15, 24. And when they had crucified him, they parted his garments, casting lots upon them, that whatever man should take. Luke. 23 33 and when they have come to the place which is called calvary there they crucified him the malefactors one on the right hand the other on the left john 3 14 and moses lifted up as as moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness even so must the son of man be lifted jesus christ got to be lifted up draw all men drawn unto me there it is john 12 32 and if i i be lifted up from the earth from the earth y'all He's in the heavens, y'all. The high place. This is the king's highway. We talked out the video talking about that. The king's highway. We'll draw all men unto me. John 19, 18. Where they crucified him, the two on the other hand, on each side, and Jesus in the midst. Uh, he got to be exalted. <clears throat> but none will exalt him. They bent on backsliding. Those who don't exalt him... The brother from another mother. The brother from another mother. Then he, they don't get no bread and water. You don't get no bread and water. Because he took away, remember, the old covenant, the old mother. Let's get that Isaiah 3 1. 
He took away the bread and water. The bread and water of life. That's what we're talking about. Come on, y'all spiritual people. The Bible talk about this bread and water. We talking about of life. Of life. Not the natural bread. John 6, 27 through 29 tells us that. Don't seek the bread that perish. Natural bread. We want that bread that uh, endureth into eternal life. That's the bread of heaven, which is Jesus Christ. John chapter 6. Uh, Isaiah 3, uh, verse 1. For behold, the Lord, the Lord of hosts, doth take away from Jerusalem and from Judah the stay, look, and the staff of the whole stay of bread and the whole stay of water. When he cut the, us off the old covenant, he took away the bread and water. Okay, that's that you, hey, that's the uh, sac it's got to be a sacrifice. That's the sacrifice. That's the sacrifice. He took away the sacrifice, right? Which is a, a bread offering and a drink offering. Remember the old covenant? You had to bring a bread offering and a drink offering, and that, um, and the Lord had to send fire and receive that sacrifice. But remember, we read in Second Kings twenty three twenty seven. He cut off Judah and Israel. He removed them out of his sight. Right. So Jeremiah 6, 8, let's go there real quick. Jeremiah, it's going to sound like I'm all over the place, but we tied together. Y'all know that. Jeremiah 6, 8, it says, uh, Be thou instructed, O Jerusalem, lest my soul so depart from thee, lest I make thee desolate. That's what happened to us. His soul depart. That's the bread and water. This is the bread and water. My soul depart from thee, lest I make thee desolate. Without this bread and water, my flesh is meat indeed. My blood is drink indeed. Right? We are desolate, y'all. We don't have his soul. A desolate, a land not inhabited. So we're without form and void. Y'all with me so far? Church, can I get an amen? Y'all we the brother? So we without bread and water. We without the... Uh, the bridegroom. Right? We are without the bride. And that happened to the whole house of Jerusalem. And we go to Matthew 23 in the New Testament from verse 37, 39. That's that bread and water. Jesus came in the flesh. It says, Since y'all don't recognize me and say, Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord, your house is left under you desolate. Okay, you can't eat. So that means what? We we will bite and devour each other because we left in the flesh. Let's get some of that. Let's get some of that. I'm trying to bring a mixture in here. Giving you understanding. You know, we got to take shortcuts for time's sake. But you have a lot better understanding of the Bible and how things work after this video. That's my intention. Galatians 5.15, it says, But if you bite and devour one another, that's what we when we left in the flesh without this bread, because the bread is, you know, that's the love of God. That's the Holy Ghost. The love of God is shed in our heart by what? The Holy Ghost. We need the Holy Ghost to love each other, y'all. Jesus said, This new commandment I give you, that you love one another as I had loved you. John 13, 34, 30. We can't do it without the, the bread and water of the Scriptures. Remember, he took away the staff of bread and water, old covenant, under the old mother, old covenant, old mother, no bread, no water. But if you bite and devour, that's the old covenant. One another, take heed. Just look at the camps. Look at how the camps talk to people. That's biting and devour. Strife. Envy. They walk as men. Not in the glory of God. They walk as men, not with the meekness and lowliness of Jesus Christ, the bread and the water. Right? They walk as corrupt men. And the Bible said, you are gods, but you shall die like men because you ain't eating no bread. I'm talking about holy bread, holy water. Which come from his side, Jesus said, his flesh and his blood. But if you bite and devour, you cut as zombies... As zombies, if you bite and devour one another in the flesh, that's all people do, y'all. Now, now you see why you can't get along with your husband, why you can't get along with your wife, why you 
always clashing with your children, family members, friends, while your girlfriend uh, uh, talking behind your back, and your best friend, brothers, did you wrong. The flesh, man, they ain't got no Jesus. They ain't got no, ain't no bread, no water. He's desolate. She desolate. We reading it right now. But if you bite and devour one another, take heed that ye be not consumed one of another. That's the flesh, y'all. And you can't better it. You can't improve it. Right? This I say, walk in the spirit and ye shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. This is new covenant, new life. This is the free woman. For the flesh loves it against the spirit and the spirit against the flesh and these are contrary one to the other so that you cannot do the things that you would. So one got to die. One going to be stronger than the other. Verse 18. But if you be led of the spirit, you are not under the law. If you led by the new mother, if you born of the new mother, Zion, New Jerusalem, Jesus Christ, his name got to be on you. His name is on the city. His name is on his church. Matthew 16, 16 through 18. His name is on his people. Second Chronicles 7, 14. Numbers 6 and 27. Right? His name got to be on you. Revelations 3, 12. His new name. You got to be filled with the Holy Ghost. Bread and water. Or you dying of starvation. And when they cranky and evil and mean, that's all it is, y'all. They, they starving. They starving. That's why the Bible says, if your enemy hunger, feed him. Give him that bread. Give him, if he thirsts, give him drink. Give him that water. Give him Jesus. Overcome evil with good. Let's get some of uh, the tab sake. Let's get some of the... Let's go to the past. Let's get some of that uh, uh, Rachel and them. Let's go to Genesis. Let's get some of Rachel. This is, we got to go back, y'all. <laughs> you know, this is line upon line, precept upon precept. Let's go to uh, uh, Genesis 35.10. Genesis, we got to get some Rachel and Leah in here. Uh, 35. And God said unto him, Thy name is Jacob. Thy name shall not be called any more Jacob, but Israel. See, that's going out of one covenant into another covenant. Okay, Jacob is the old covenant. The flesh represents us in the flesh. Israel represents us in the new covenant. Right? That's what your uh, Hebrews 8, 8 through 13 Right? I make a new covenant with the house of Judah and with the house of Israel. That new covenant. But that's with our brother from another mother. Uh, but Israel shall be thy name. See, this, this, this is a prince. We only become a prince by Israel making covenant with Jesus Christ. Israel has to make covenant with Jesus Christ. The new covenant, the new name, the new mercy, the new grace, forgiveness, all that. New king, all things become new. Revelations 21, 5. That's through Jesus Christ. Revelations 3.12 is the proof. All things become new. That's why it's called New Jerusalem. Right? But Israel shall be thy name. Uh, and he called his name Israel. That's a prince of God. Remember, Israel got to make covenant with Jesus Christ. That's, the everlasting, that's that promise. Children of the promise. He promised you eternal life. But through your prince. Through your king through your shepherd Ezekiel 34 tells us that, that old chapter Ezekiel 34 you got to he'll send one shepherd and then John 10 verse 16 17 said there'd be one shepherd and one fold Jesus Christ is that shepherd he said I'm the good shepherd lay down my life for my sheep my sheep hear my voice and they follow me a stranger, they will not follow. They won't follow the old, the old, that what's dead, the old covenant. They won't follow the dark. They follow the light. John 14, verse 6 and 7. I'm the way, the truth, and the light. Or life. Right? No man can come unto the Father but by me. 
I'm your brother from another mother. I'm from the New Jerusalem. I come from Jerusalem to give you your New Jerusalem. That's eternity. I came from eternity to give you eternity. It's called eternal life. I came to give you my life. I'm the Alpha and Omega. I'm the first Hebrew Israelite and the last Hebrew Israelite. My name alone is Hebrew. He said in the Hebrew tongue, my name is Jesus. Whom thou persecutest. Acts 26, 14 to 18. His name is sanctified, glorified. And must be exalted. We done read that. We covered those. And God said unto him, I am God Almighty, be fruitful and multiply, and a nation of and a company of nations shall be of thee, and kings shall come out of thy loins, and the land which I gave Abraham, Isaac, to thee will I give it, and to thy seed after thee, Christ being formed in us, right? Our brother from another mother being formed in us, will I give the land. And God went up from him in the place where he talked with him. And Jacob set a, a pillar in the place where he talked with him, even a pillar of stone, and poured a drink offering thereunto. And he poured oil thereon. And Jacob called the name of that place where God spake unto him Bethel, which means the house of God. Now we know Jesus Christ is that house. What did the Bible say? We will dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of our life. That house is Jesus Christ. He said, I'm gonna, they were going to destroy this temple. In three days, he will rise, raise it up again. John uh, chapter 2, verse 13 to 21. That old was taken away, was destroyed, 70 AD. And down God became a spirit. He said, Jesus said, well, John 4, 22 to 24. God is a spirit. They that worship him must worship him in spirit. Not the flesh anymore. Not the flesh way. Not the old cup, not under your old mama, whom he gave a bill of divorcement. We're going to read that. That's uh, uh, Isaiah chapter 50, verse 1. He gave a bill of divorcement to our old mama. That's your old covenant. And they journeyed from Bethel, the house of God, and there was built a little to come to Ephrathah, Rachel Travail. Oh, here we will. Here come the drum roll. Here the meat. You, we, we, we got it. Uh, we got to become, we're Rachel. Rachel represents uh, us coming into the new covenant. Rachel represents, watch this, us coming into the co new covenant. Let's read that in verse 16. And they journeyed from Bethel, the house of God, uh, and there was but a little to come to Ephrathah, you know, and Rachel travailed, this is your Galatians 4, 19. Paul said, I travail uh, in birth till Christ be formed in you. We got to travail. Watch this. And Rachel travailed, and she had hard labor. Right? That's uh, hazard in our lives for the name of Jesus Christ. That's why so many don't take the cross. So many don't deny themselves. Because cause you go through this experience as Rachel, this hard labor to birth to Christ through much tribulation do we inherit uh, enter into the kingdom of God and it came to pass when she was in hard labor that the midwife said unto her fear not that thou ha shalt have this son also and it came to pass as her soul was departing for she died look at this hard labor hey, Rachel had to die y'all you got to die to bring forth to Christ that's your John 12, 24 through 31. Except a grain of wheat fall into the earth and die, it abideth alone. But if it die, it bring forth much fruit. That old you, the old covenant, under the old mama, which is divorced, Judah and Israel being divorced, you you are Rachel right there. Under the old covenant, you got to, that's what the Mosaic law is telling us. That's why the veil is on the heart. Because you got to die. That she called his name. Oh, drama. Check this out, y'all. Ben. How y'all pronounce this? Oni. Oni. Ben Oni. This is deep, y'all. Check this out. You know, this word is so deep. 
that you won't find a definition on it. And the definition you do find on it <laughs> is interesting. But check this out. Oni. Uh, because they parted Jesus' lots. All nations did, right? When he was on the cross. We read that. Now they parted his lots. Now look what the Japanese say. Check this out, y'all. This is deep. In Japanese folklore, this is what that name means. Ben Oni. A type of demonic creature. Often of giant size and great strength. And fearful in appearances. And they generally consider it to be a foreign origin, perhaps introduced into Japan from China, along with Buddhism. Never this to be converted into Buddhism. You see how deep that is? This is supposed to be a demonic name. She, she said this child was demonic. She was went through that hard labor. That she died. She had to die. She had to lay down her life to bring forth this son, this child. But she gave it a demonic name. This is this is Benjamin, y'all. But she called him Ben Oni. Or however you pronounce it. Oni. Or Oni. But his father, look, his father, Jacob called him Benjamin. Now, this means Benjamin means son of my right hand. Okay, when you go into the name Benjamin, uh Jacob called him the son of my right hand. That's who Benjamin means. Son of my right hand. Keep that in mind. Because Benjamin represents Jesus Christ. Right? Who we have to birth. Now, again, that's Galatians 4 and 19. Travail and birth to Christ be formed in you. But you're going to have to give hard labor to birth Christ. The old you got to die. Got to perish. That's the old covenant. You under the old law. Under the old law, old covenant. Sin and death. So Christ got to live. You and Christ can't live at the same time oh, as, far, as far as you in the flesh. That's your Galatians 2.20. Paul said, I'm crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live yet not I. But Christ liveth in me. And the life that I now live in the flesh. See this new birth that I now live in the flesh. I live by the faith of the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. But he could be called what? Oni. Oh, that spirit in you called the Holy Ghost. That's Oni. Oh, you know what that is? That's the living dead. Christ is who died. When the Bible said he that lived and was dead and is alive forevermore, we call him the Holy Ghost. Right here. This is the Holy Ghost, y'all. She had to die to bring forth the Holy Ghost. Jesus was brought here. What? He was the Holy Ghost. Jesus is the Holy Ghost. You got to die to bring forth the Holy Ghost. And Rachel died. Look. And was buried. <laughs> In the way of Ephrath, however you pronounce it, which is Bethlehem. Where was Jesus born? Right there. Bethlehem. Ephrath of Bethlehem. And, uh, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. We got to get in. We're going to get into this word. I don't know if I'm going to get it all in in this video. Uh, but that word, oh, nine. Oh, yeah, let's go to Micah. Let's go to Micah. Five, what we just read right there. Let's precept that. Let's go to Micah five real quick. Showing you that Jesus that Ben on I represents the Holy Ghost. Jesus Christ in his new form. God, the God of Israel in his new form, y'all. Micah five verse one. And it's really that whole chapter here. But for time's sake, we can't get it all. Micah five verse one. Now gather thyself in troops. O daughter of troops, he has laid siege against us. They shall smite the judge of Israel with a rod upon his cheek. But thou, Bethlehem, look, y'all. This is where she died, remember? Rachel died here. But thou, Bethlehem of Ephrathita, right there. Though thou be little among thousands of Judah, yet out of thee... Shall he? This is being born from on high, y'all. That new Jerusalem. Jerusalem, which is above, is free, which is the mother of us all. This is being, you got to die to live. You have to die to live. You have to become a living sacrifice, crucified with Christ. Romans 12, 1 and 2, a living sacrifice. She had to die for her son to live. Rachel had to die. 
you and the flesh got to die for Christ Jesus to live. John 12, except a grain of wheat fall into the earth and die, it abide for long. But if it die, bring it forth much fruit. Yet out of thee shall come forth unto me that is to be ruler in Israel. This is Christ. Christ coming forth out of you, out of me. Who's going forth have been of old, look y'all, even from everlasting. He came from everlasting to give us everlasting. But he put his name on it. That's it, the hidden name of uh, Ephesians 3, 9. You and me carry his name now in our heart and in our foreheads. That means we live by every word of God. That's what that means. Therefore will he give them up into the time that she which travaileth, like Rachel, had brought forth Christ, right? Galatians 4, 19, so Christ be formed in you. Then the remnant of his brethren, right? The brethren come together in Christ. Our brother from another mother. He come from eternity. That's the other mother, New Jerusalem. Galatians 4, 26, we ready. Look at this, y'all. Of his brother, he come to bring the brothers together. Shall return. Look, now we return to he that comes from eternity, from the mother, the other mother, with no sin. That's free. Galatians 4, 26, that new covenant, y'all. This is the New Testament, the new covenant. Now we return to the God of Israel through Jesus Christ, the black Messiah. Return unto, look, the children of Israel. Now we return. To our former estate that's now established with the name Jesus Christ on it forever. Forever. They say, I'm going to put my, they defiled my first house that I put my name there. So he said, I'm going to make a new way, a new covenant. I'm going to heal your backsliding. I'm going to deliver you from the power of the grave. I'm going to deliver you from sin and death and destructions. And, and corruptions and pollutions of sin. The death, death and hell shall have no more dominion over you. Right? The, the eternal God came down in the form of a man. 1 Timothy 3.16 God was manifest in the flesh. Preached unto the Gentiles. Believed on in the world right justified in spirit received up into glory into back into his new uh new form right because he had a new body right and he shall stand and feed that's what we doing feed and the strength that's what we needed strength to no longer what? Backslide. To no longer what? Die. To no longer what? Fall away. To no longer be adulterous. To strength what? To deny ourselves. Now we got resurrection strength. Eternity strength. The almighty strength. The most high's name is our strength. Strength of the Lord. We reading it right now. And in the majesty of his name. His name is our majesty. His, that's our righteousness right there. His name is our righteousness. Our majesty. Isaiah 26, 9 right there. Majesty of his name. Of the Lord, his God. The Lord our God. Hear you, Israel. The Lord our God is one Lord. That's the only way we know that Jesus Christ is the Lord our God. We got to feed on his name. His name is our majesty. And they shall abide. For now shall be he be great unto the ends of the earth. Man, there's no end. His kingdom has no end. His kingdom has no end. Since I mentioned that Isaiah one. Let's go on and grab it. Since I mentioned Isaiah 26 and 9. Isaiah 26 and 9. Let's go get it. With my soul have I desired thee in the night. Yea, with my spirit within me will I seek thee early. For when thy judgments, death, burial, resurrection, are in the earth, the inhabitants 
of the world will learn, look, righteousness. Now there's judgments in the earth. The inhabitants of the world can learn righteousness. Let favor be shown to the wicked. Favor is his him becoming a sacrifice. Yet will he not learn righteousness. He won't learn Jesus Christ. He won't learn his way. Remember Jesus said, take my yoke upon you and learn of me. His ways are righteousness. The paths of righteousness and judgment. In the land of the upright, the land of the living, will he deal unjustly and will not, look, behold the majesty of the Lord. He won't behold the name Jesus Christ. We just read that majesty is the name Jesus Christ. His name is the majesty. His name is holy. His name is great. His name is exalted. His name must be what? Lifted up. They won't behold the majesty of the Lord. Therefore, their heart is set on backsliding. God will not exalt you who do not exalt Jesus Christ. As Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, so must the Son of Man be lifted up. Jesus Christ got to be lifted up. Now, let's get back over there to uh, that, that son, uh, Rachel. Rachel's son. Rachel had to die for the son to live. Now, there's the big thing about this son, uh, Genesis. Let's go there. Genesis 42. Now, y'all know the story of Joseph. There's a famine in the land, and the, the brothers had to go to, to Egypt to get bread and what? What? Bread and water. 